June 25th, 2013. Or 24th down twice. How quickly the days kind of blend together when you're off. First time I've had uh, three days off in quite a while. So uh, busy, busy doing things around the place, uh, running errands. But uh, 20, 25th, a uh, month, month from today, uh, I'll be on a plane flying out to Arizona. Actually, I should say we will be on a plane uh, flying out to Arizona. So looking, looking forward to that. With that, I was looking up a um, song from uh, System of a Down. But before I get into that, uh, I'm excited. Tomorrow there's a uh, live broadcast. Uh, they do we do a live broadcast for each of the op centers. And the new op center that I'm going to now, here in the Northwest, uh, is going to have the live live feed. So, uh, Usually, of course, it's up in the morning. I tell them to tune, tune it in because at 8 o'clock, then they start broadcasting. And uh, there's uh, what's called the uh, Comcast channel. So, uh, one of the channels that we get in cable here, uh, you can see that live feed. So, uh, once in a while, they'll scan across the audience uh, in the tech, tech ops there, and you can kind of see us saying, kind of cheer, 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 cheer them on. He missed the one last time, yes. and I, I had the chance to sit up in the front row, but uh, he missed he missed out on that one. So maybe maybe this time around, I should have him just recorded, but uh, not yet. Maybe maybe here in the future. But uh, looking forward to uh, starting uh, being my first day at the Northwest, uh, first day to meet my uh, new team. Uh, I met my supervisor. A month ago, a few weeks ago, yeah, it was a month ago, and uh, I haven't talked to him since. But uh, looking forward to meeting. Uh, met a few few people on my team. Looking forward to meeting the whole team as a whole. So after after the broadcast, then they're going to have a little team team meetings. So I'll get to introduce myself and meet the rest of the fellows. So looking looking forward to that. Uh, they're supposed to have some X, uh, X1 training. I think I mentioned that uh, about the new equipment, uh, new uh, cable boxes coming out. But that was canceled. There was some uh, pretty good fierce storms that came through and and uh, caused a lot of outages. Uh, so a lot of a lot of people were still uh, in in the fields having to overcome uh, some of that. So they canceled the X1 training and. Uh, I look forward to that too because uh, we're going to get a new uh, cable box. Uh, really excited about uh, the new new stuff coming out this year. So other, other than that, uh, I get up early, five o'clock comes early. Uh, I'm going to talk about. I was looking up, uh, thinking of a song. Uh, I was watching some uh, YouTube videos of uh, System of a Down, and back in 2001, they came out with a uh, album called Toxicity. You know, they are from the L.A. area, and uh, someone was mentioning that, you know, usually when we think of uh, L.A., uh, most Hollywood usually gets all the news, uh, Hollywood and movies and starlets and, and uh, red carpets and, and all that stuff. But he said, you know, us, us being raised here in, in, the, uh, in the L.A. area, you know, you get to see the other side of you know, living in a big city. I think any time that you live in a big city, you're going to get uh, you see you see that. Uh, I mentioned yesterday when moving uh, moving here to the Minneapolis area. I uh, we when the first year was moved into was the uh, north uh, north Minneapolis, and it was kind of lower uh, lower uh, income, uh, older older buildings. Uh, and, and you get to see uh, uh, the lower, less uh, fortunate you know, pe peoples, peoples of the cities. And I uh, got to deliver some of my earlier deliveries in that time was uh, uh, in, in those type of neighborhoods. And, 
And I never felt uncomfortable. Of course, it was during the day, and you know, usually uh, it's gotten it's gotten worse over the years. But there in '87, it wasn't wasn't really an issue. Um, but uh, like they were saying, you know, you see you see a lot of the uh, uh, pollution and, and, and violence and, and prostitution on the streets. And, and different things that uh, you start writing, you know, when you start writing and, and expressing and telling stories, you usually tap into those experiences. And uh, what the toxicity is kind of, uh, you know, when you have these big uh, corporations and, and pollution and they really don't take care of the environment. So they're really environmentally uh, conscious. And, and it was it was a very big uh, uh, a lot of some of the songs that I really like off that uh, album uh, Toxicity is uh, one is called Forest and it's about saving trees and, and don't cut down the forest because you know who, who's going to be here to tell your grandkids and their grandkids how wonderful and beautiful uh, living in you know. This this country that is is uh, uh, like uh, like I said before, being up in the north uh, northwest territories, uh, and like there in California, the big redwoods uh, that have been around for for eons, uh, untouched by human hands, and, and we get in there and we just uh, I know in like in Washington State, just the clear cutting, you'd, you'd go and you had this vast vast timber woods. And all of a sudden you get this area and it's just completely just mowed down, uh, just nothing but bare, uh, bare hillside. And, and luckily the state, you know, would limit that you couldn't do more than so many acres. So there'd just be big patches of just no trees at all. And then you get back into the woods and you go around the next bend or curve, and then you'd hit this big old clear, clear patch. Uh, I remember walking, uh, doing. I used to do a lot of uh, uh, mushrooming, so I'd be hiking up in the woods, and I'd be hiking up in the woods, and I'd get to the edge, and I remember distinctly walking out, and 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 the trees are so so big and fast that there's such a big canopy, and then and then you walk out into this clearing, and it's just nothing but flat, you know. And, and they had a pretty good program that they'd come in and they'd plant trees. They, uh, or if they cut down trees, they had to plant that many new saplings within that area. And uh, you can see where the new saplings were coming up. They might be, you know, three to four feet tall. But uh, to go from this vast wood uh, forest like that, it hit just to nothing uh, how we can do that. Uh, and sustain it. You know, you hear these stories of, in South America that they don't have uh, the government and stuff to step in and, and control uh, what they're doing, and, and you just don't realize how quickly you can devastate uh, vast woodlands like that. Uh, and people, people have to care. They really, really do. Uh, you talk about these tree huggers and stuff, and and uh, and I'd be one to to uh, fight, fight for the trees. I know um, Rush had a song many years ago uh, called uh, "Called Trees" and uh, how how the trees were, were screaming out and and fighting uh, fighting for their survival, so to speak. And it told told a pretty good pretty good story. But uh, the one called Forest. Uh, off the toxicity album is, is pretty good. There's one called Science uh, versus uh, Science is uh, failed Mother Earth and uh, kind of screaming, screaming out to you know we have the technology uh, to, to save. Uh, like they started growing, uh, growing, growing trees, uh, which was smart. Growing trees like I know in this state, growing trees that are that grow fast. So you can, uh, once you clear them out, you can plant them and they'll grow a lot faster than these old growths. Uh, one of the, one of the uh, again, hiking in the woods, one of the most uh, fascinating things that I ever ran into. Uh, 
uh, as far as uh, Mother Nature is hiking, hiking in the woods there. And like I said, I just do mushrooming a lot. Uh, I came into this, uh, uh, you can see the old, every once in a while you run across these old uh, uh, lumber lumber trails where they had uh, cleared cleared the wood many years ago and these are all this is all the new new growth that's grown since then uh, but then you, I remember walking down in this one valley and there's this one tree that had survived and had completely uh, at that time cut around and you can see that the diameter of the tree uh, way way much older than the rest of the forest and how, how and then this is you know, the pine, it's called Evergreen State for a reason, because nothing but all pines. And how, how it had grown in, in every year, pine trees shed their needles in, in that lush, that lush under, undergrowth underneath that whole tree and that nice thick mossy uh, fern. You know, just, just the growth, you can almost, uh, just, just like a nice park, you just lay down in the grass and so I just, I just sat down there and just marveled at how, how beautiful, uh, the canopy, that big tree had, had lived, uh, for hundreds of years and, and had survived and, and how, how green it was just underneath that one tree. It was really, really magical. And it's, you know, I didn't have a camera with, you know, I had camera phones like I do nowadays. Uh, but it was just, it was marvelous to, to, to experience that. Um, so, so when I hear, hear a song about the forest and trees, uh, about uh, saving, saving nature, how the government, uh, different presidents will step in and, and, and uh, make sure that we protect, protect, uh, the different countrysides, uh, state parks, the stuff that we have is uh, is good. I'm a glad man, Ben, do that. But uh, this this song I'm gonna play uh, from 2001 is uh, called A A T W A. It's air, trees, water, animals. So it's uh, kind of our uh, kind of speaks. Uh, our relationship uh, with these elements of the earth, air, trees, water, and animals. Uh, so I'll leave you with this. Uh, System of Down, 2001. And even though this one was rated, they got some award. Uh, so what was it? Album, album of the Year. Uh, and, and rank. They rank pretty high on the top. Uh, even though they're listed as a heavy metal band. Uh, they do, they do tone it down and, and play some really good melodic, uh, melodic music. That's what I like about artists that, that can kind of rank it up and, and know how to rock it, but at the same time can really, uh, touch you on the downside. So, still moving down. 2001 concert next month. Looking forward to it. June 25th, 2013.